welcome to an unboxing of She Devil, uh, sorry, Red Sonya, She Devil with a Vengeance. This is a one third statue by a Prime One Studios. This is box one, as you can see, it is massive. I'm no tall guy by any stretch of the imagination, but this is huge. You can literally hide in it. Anyway, this is going to be an unboxing and review, so let's begin. Got this on the aftermarket for doesn't matter how <laughs> the price but <laughs> this statue is humongous i know that from reviews from other reviews but i thought i'll do my own little review show you what you get so you get the instruction pamphlet uh calendar from prime one and just some promotions for statues that they were going to release this is Bear in mind, this came out a few years ago, so it did come with a 2021 calendar as well, but obviously we're in 2023, there's no need for that. So the best way that I've found to take these out of the boxes is put them <coughs> down like this, very gently. And slide them out. Bear in mind, that's one box. I believe this one's the base. Nice cover art. This is edition 370 out of 550. Like I said, it's a few years old, but this box weighs a ton. Let's have a little look of each side. Thing is, this is an aftermarket, so unfortunately, I am expecting a breakage somewhere, but 
hopefully nothing too catastrophic. But we'll see. We'll see what so yeah, this was the base. As you can see, it is huge. <coughs> oh my word. So yeah, Edition 370. So just to give you an idea of what you get in this particular box. So it looks like the base. And looks like the figurine as well. Maybe a few odd bits. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the base out and uh, change positions and get it assembled for this particular box and then we'll start on box two. Okay, so this is the figurine. Not too sure how she goes. She's like that. Not too wobbly wobbly. Look at that. Fantastic. See, I've seen a lot of uh, reviews stating about the snakes being these little snakes being a bit bland, but when you look at the actual base of the big one, if you had these all different colours, then it would just be a blur of colour. And I think by put, making them dull, it doesn't take anything away from this. I mean, obviously you're looking at the, you know, the, the character as well, but you know, the, this really does. This will still show once everything's assembled up. That really will still show. Let's see what else we've got in this box number one. <laughs> Okay, so in box number one, you've got the base, the figure, and you've got these two, which is obviously the, um, well, I think that one's that one, and that one goes at the back there, that one takes on the back there, part of the um, bikini armour thing that she wears. So, <clears throat> we'll just keep them there. That's, that's the contents of box one, which is the biggest box. So, let me, give me a second. I'll pack it away and then get box two out and uh, we'll go again. Okay, time for box two. Uh, for anyone who actually buys this statue on the uh, aftermarket, be aware it comes in two boxes. Make sure when you get them that they're the same edition. Both boxes will have whatever number out of 550. This is a deluxe edition. Uh, standard, I think, came in 500. I think they've done 500 of them. Not too sure though, don't quote me on that. But the deluxe edition came with 550. Make sure both boxes are the same number. If they're not, then the pieces won't match. Um, I'm not gonna go through the full wins and outs of unpacking it like the first box. Just wanted to make you aware of that. Show you how big the box actually is compared to me. I'm five foot eight, so five foot six. It's a big box, so just be aware when you do buy this statue that it is big. Anyway. Okay, so uh, 
For anyone who buys a deluxe, uh, it should come with one of these stickers here, product parts. Basically, the cape is in a little secret compartment here. So be aware of that. We'll get, uh, get it out and have a little look. No, 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 Logue. No. Yeah, I love you too. Go on, get out of it. Apologies for that. Joys of living with a German Shepherd. Doesn't like the noise of the uh, foam popping. So there's the cape. Jesus, it's bigger than what I thought it would be. For anyone who does buy this statue as well, be aware that it is huge. I mean, you see it in the pictures and you see it in reviews, but you can't appreciate just how big this thing is until it's in person. Camera log. Right, so this is going to be a bit difficult because the dog's decided to lie down where the box is supposed to be. So uh, I think we might have to move back. Heaven forbid we move the dog. There he is, there. Good boy. Right. <coughs> So, two parts of the box, the top and the bottom, and that's what we get. So, now I've seen that, what we're going to do is we're going to take them out and start assembling. Okay, guys, so I've got a few pieces out here. Um, gonna try to uh, assemble it as best as we can. Um, I know the head goes on first of the dragon. Not too sure which way he's supposed to go though. I think she's supposed to be facing him like that. So I think it's this one. The instructions ain't too clever. It is that one there. I love that because. Because of this snake, it hides the seam around there. As you can see, <coughs> it slots on nice and perfect like that. And the head goes on here, like so. And this this is really heavy. Look at that. I mean, that is just fantastic. And then the tail. <coughs> I think the tail goes next. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. Although well, no, the instructions ain't the best. 
yeah, no, this is what this is what you've got to work with. Uh, so apparently the uh, the venom and the drill goes on next. So see if we can find that on the in the box and. <clears throat> found them they were quite tough to find in the box because they are very small pieces but we found them they weren't missing not too sure if the camera can actually see the head unfortunately I ain't got a cameraman this is all a one man operation let's see if we can lift this up a little bit Okay, so the draw is what's at the bottom. There's no key there. I think that just hangs. I think it just hangs like that. Or does it? Okay, now it took a while to suss out how that goes. I'm not too sure I've got it right, but basically I, I think the draw hangs over the, the two fangs at the bottom. I think. These bits are actually magnetised. Quite strong magnets, they just yoink in like that. Fantastic. Beautiful. Right, so the next part, it looks like, is this big tail. Slot in there, like so, and that looks like the snake complete. Again, this is another part where the seam has been covered up by the snake. Very clever, actually. Good design. Very good design. As you see already, where it's taking shape, the snake is going to steal the show. Notwithstanding anything from. Red Sonia herself. That is gorgeous. Right, some more pieces. Okay, so uh, got a few of the other pieces out. I have noticed a small break. I'll show you on camera in a minute. Uh, it's only a small uh, bit of the hair. I was expecting some sort of breakage. I mean, I thought at first, I'm actually quite happy because I thought it was going to be something on the dragon that was broke, but. Obviously, other reviewers have shown that it's the, the hair that's actually broke on their statue. So, I'm not too fussed about it, in all honesty. But, moving on. <coughs> Next bit is to put this snake on. And, yeah. It don't know where everything goes. So, I think that snake goes down. Yep, looks like it does. It sits relatively flush 
Although there is a little bit of a gap there where you can see the peg. The next snake, I believe, is on this side. So if you don't move, be there. Be upside down. I can't do that way, can I? Hmm. Be there. Ah, there we go. So he goes there under a boot. And where this this little guy goes, he's going to go. Ah, there we go. Right there. 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 Well, there is a key there, but I don't really want to force it. I know, I know where these go, these are obvious. Anyone knows anything about Red Sonja? These are obvious. <sighs> right. Right, cover her up a little bit, give her a bit of dignity. Right, there. Lovely jubbly. And this one, I believe, keys there like this. Obviously the sword will go wrong, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously the instructions the snake goes upside down this towel goes upside down where, where's that bit again it's hiding from me the thing is there's so much detail on this statue it's hard to figure out where everything goes the instructions are about much use as a ashtray on a motorbike so you're kind of winging it Let's see if there's another snake part. <clears throat> yes, there is. Oh, great, there's another two snake parts. So we've got a head. And we've got another head. So I'm assuming that's a head. Good. No, maybe not. Let's see if this one goes up. Oh, there is a bit of a seam on that one. If that is the correct place to put it. To be fair, I mean, who's bloody looking at these snakes anyway? Uh, so the other one is by the skulls. <laughs> but there's so many skulls. <laughs> oh, good grief. Right, so there's one with a bloodstone, eh? Okay, there's the one with a bloodstone. Of course, this is those next to him. Oh, wait, man. Yeah, another bloodstone over there. Right. Mm -hmm.
Okay, it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, for anyone watching who's trying to assemble this bloody thing, that's where it goes. It's between these three skulls here, underneath the right hand side of, well, her leg and the tail of the big snake. And I'm trying to figure out where this piece goes. Well, we've got a spare snake part and where where to put it. Can't see any incomplete snakes around here. Mm, this one's coiled up like that. Yep, okay, that one's a through there. What about this guy? What's this guy doing? Yep, this guy looks alright. Hmm. We'll come back to that one. <clears throat> so the next part I suppose is to actually finish the arms. So I know this is one of the poses you can do, so let's put this one on first. Okay, right. It's more up like that, isn't it? Right, so I believe the left hand is Dog standard, one piece, she goes like that. Uh, we have got the deluxe edition, so it comes with the axe as well, so that'll come up like that. And we have got a sword piece as well. So I believe that's supposed to go here. Sorry, but it's not. Oh, that bit's not magnetised. So we'll need to suss that bit out later. I think the cape goes on first. Oh, well, well, next, sorry. Yeah, so the cape goes on.
five six now. I believe it would be like that. What would it? Hmm. Let's suss this out and come back. Okay, so the cape was a bit fiddly, but we got it on. Uh, basically, there's two little hooks or two little pegs that go through uh, two rings either side of the cape. Um, it's a nice material actually. And basically, they go through there and onto peg on with these uh, shoulder pads. Um, I probably won't display it with a cape, although it does add a good presence, but you lose too much at the back end. But um, <clears throat> so I'll show you the uh, breakage that I've got. So you can see where it came off right there. No problem, I'll be able to get the glue fix. But yeah, I was expecting that. Um, she's got a bit of a spam, as you can see, but comes with this part of the hair. So you just slow it on like so. Somehow anyway. <laughs> Need to be careful the way you put it down, put the head down because it can't break. There we go, that's slowed on nicely. Mm, no, is it on? No, it's not. There we go. Okay. A little bit fiddly, but no problem. off and finished. Make sure to put a head on last because uh, everything will get in the way. And that's basically uh, complete. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of this thing, so impressive. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is the deluxe version, so you get the axe, get the cape, that's what comes. Uh, with it you also get the switch hats so let's change that up still haven't figured out where that snake tail goes maybe one day when i'm looking at it it'll become obvious but at the moment it's not so oh, that the, the breakage ain't too bad if you if you display it from the front you ain't going to see it so well i'm not going to see it so it doesn't really bother me that much and when you consider, look at the size of the statue, and you get one little breakage like that. Uh, you can't complain, really. But yeah, that's one switch out. And I think this is the one. Although I do like the axe. I think that's the one, though. That's that's the one that's going to save you the most space. So that is Red Sonia completed. Right, so there's a bit of wire in the cape so you can display it wherever you like, really. But when you come around this side, you're losing too much of the slank of, of, of the backside and everything. But look, look at it there. That's just absolutely fantastic, you know. Sunsets are beautiful, newborn babies are beautiful, but this is fucking spectacular. Look at it. And the last one here, we'll get some measurements. Just to give you a realistic idea of how big it's going to be if you do decide to have a gear and display it. See, I quite like the idea of having the axe because the sword. Obviously, she's got one sold, so it's either that or them. So if you display it with the other ones, then it makes sense to take this out. So I like the idea of the axe. Plus, it is more of a brutal way to go, isn't it? The snake's getting fucked up, but you see all the cuts around here. Blood stain. She's got a bit of blood on her as well. Just above the fluffy boots. 
But let's get some measurements. Okay, so width wise, I would say it would be the most would be from the snake to the point of this sword. I mean, you can add the cape out even further if you wanted, but is that enough? Yeah. So, width wise, oops, sword's come out. And that bit's not magnetized, so be careful with that. Look, um, what's that? <coughs> About 56 centimeters, which is roughly 22 inches height. So, I think the sword up is the highest point it will go, or you the highest point you could possibly display it. So, let's have a look, at that. which is this hand. So from the top of the sword, yes, but realistically, about one hundred and six centimeters, which is just over forty one inches. <clears throat> That's with the highest display that you can have. The lowest would be the sword facing fan. Uh, wait this in. So the sword will still be the highest point. Looking at roughly 78 centimetres, which is just about 30 inches, just shy of 31 inches. The deepest point is basically the snake. So you're looking at roughly 51 centimetres, which is just, just over 20 inches. And that is Prime One's Red Sonja Sea Devil with a Vengeance. Let's get the um, camera out and give you some close ups. There's the portrait. See, a lot of collectors said about the math as well. I can see like there's there's no teeth in the math, but at the end of the day, it's red Sonia. You're not exactly looking at that, are you? Come down, nice detail on the boots, blood stains, the snake. The colours on the snake is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the camera really just doesn't do this justice. All the cuts. That snake's getting fucked up. Beautiful. The venom as well. Look at that math. I mean, that's just prime ones. Certainly outdid themselves. The, you can't really appreciate the skin detail as well. Maybe this camera's picking it up. But thing is, uh, these statues—they're so much better in person. Like with your own two eyes, a camera really just does not do these these things justice. Detail on the sword, nice pits. Uh, spin her around. Look at that, you can see that breakage. I'll glue that, no problem. But the hair, look at the sculpts on the hair, fantastic. Coming down. If anyone knows where this piece goes, please let me know. If that's going to bug me. I'd imagine it goes out of one of the skulls, but which one is anyone's guess? I mean, look how many, any, look how many there are. God damn it! Absolutely phenomenal piece, a true masterpiece from Prime One. If you have the room and you want an impressive statue, I suggest you get it.
Anyway, thanks for watching. Night night. Okay, so she's uh, in her forever arm. So I thought I'd do a few close-ups and uh, show the swap outs just to uh, see what we're getting. Uh, full disclosure, we did have a few accidents in the sh in the moving process from downstairs up to the down cave. Uh, we did suss out where <coughs> this little end of the snake went, and it's basically under this guy right here um but unfortunately it did break and i f believe the magnet is on the inside of the peg which is stuck in the actual tail so unfortunately that's gonna have to be glued on but it does go something like this let's go like that so we'll have to glue that on Mistakes happen. Uh, we did have another little accident. The axe, well, this this arm actually uh, came off and the axe broke, so I had to do a bit of DIY with that. But uh, I think they've done a good job. It looks, um, don't look too bad. In fact, you can't actually see it. You see a little crack there, but I can cover that up with uh, a little bit of paint. But anyway, this is a close-up of She-Devil with a Vengeance. Absolutely stunning statue. This is massive. This is absolutely massive. You can imagine. <clears throat> get me a dirty coffee cup. That's how big she is next to the dirty coffee cup. Absolutely incredible piece. Um, by far, this is my... Grail piece, this was the one I must have, and it doesn't disappoint. But we've got some natural light going on, so hopefully you can see the different colours that's going on with this snake. See the battle damage where she's fucking it up. Uh, blood stains on the skulls. Kinky boots. I mean, look at the amazing detail. In there. Apparently these come off, but I don't actually want to take them off. I think they. This was part of the uh, DX version. That the cape and the extra switch hats you get were part of the DX version. I don't really want to take them off, so they're going to stay where they are. But if we start with a snake, start with a big guy. Look at the colours in the eyes. That's just incredible. Uh, the draw, these draw pieces are, are separate parts. Not too sure how they, they hang on the teeth. I think it's, it's whoever displays them and chooses how to, how to lay them on the teeth, really. Um, but in going different lights, you can actually see the, the metallic blues and greens coming through on this snake. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, the base 
It's like she's in a sort of a crypt or a, some sort of thing like that and uh, that's what she's battling the snake on. So we come around all these little all these little guys, all these little snakes, lovely. Go up to Now I did have a few critiques with it as a like I said as an artist myself I can see a few things that I would have well hopefully they would have in future QC'd but this part of the snake here you can't really the natural light ain't actually showing it but there we go I think that's not supposed to be that colour it looks kind of like overspray from from this part um another qc issue that i had was actually the the part that broke so it actually goes on like that but <clears throat> if you can imagine the the white of the snake doesn't line up with the top part of it but no big deal you know you're not looking at those little guys you're looking at this big guy and Sonya herself and come around more battle damage the cape has got a wire in it so you can basically display it however you however you choose Good detail on the sword. Beautiful. Coming up. And spin it around. <laughs> still a little bit of the uh, styrofoam still on it. The hair, look at the hair, that's amazing. That sculpt on that hair is amazing. She's got a bit of blood stains on her arm. It's the other side of Big Guy. Coming down. Blood stains all over him. Nice booty. So this is the angle we can actually see some of his face. So in the light you can actually see teeth. So for anyone that says that it was a poor portrait, <coughs> look closer. Absolutely beautiful, and uh, I think the light can actually show this. But look at the detail in the skin. Look at that. A true masterpiece. So I'm just going to show the uh, swap hats. So the X. The, the axe is how I want to dis uh, how I want to keep it displayed. To be fair, let's just lay that down quickly. <sighs> Apologies for the uh, camera. The axe is how I want to displayed, but this is the standard version. So it's uh, she. This is what you get with the standard version, which is for, for space. That's that's a lot better. But obviously the. The hilt of this sword needs to come out, and she already have one sword. Beautiful. That's the way to save most space. And the last one is with the sword up. Again, you'd have to take that that hilt out in order for it to make sense. 
But I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty cool as well, actually. So every now and then I might swap between them two. Yes, fantastic. Uh, like I said before, you know, and I hate to repeat myself, but, you know, sunsets are beautiful, newborn babies are beautiful, but this, this is fucking spectacular. Look at it. Look at it, though. Unbelievable. It's by far, I mean, I would never, ever sell this. You couldn't pay me enough money to sell this. Seriously, I would have to be in serious dire straits to to get rid of this. Absolutely fantastic. The only trouble with it <clears throat> is, you know, minus the the minor details that I've, I've I've mentioned that that could have been done better. But the only thing with it is how to display it because it's so freaking big and heavy. You know, the lesson that I learnt from it is is open. Get when you get a statue this size, open it where you want to display it. Don't move it. Don't don't put do it in another room and then move it because you do run the risk of breakages. And for a, such an amazing piece like this, you you really don't want that. It was, it's heartbreaking when you get a breakage, especially when it's your own doing. Absolutely heartbreaking. I saw it showed him the inside of the math. Look at that, oh my god. Let's try to get a little closer to that. Knocking into anything. Look at the details in that. My grail piece. This is this is this was my number one must have. I've got um <clears throat> Another red Sonia, I did get a uh, She Devil with a Sword, which is this little lady. She's a one fourth. Uh, I've got this one from Knitting, Knitting Jane. Uh, I've got another one on order actually from him. It's uh, Queen of Scavengers, and that's going to go where the Batman Catwoman is. <coughs> and Batman Catwoman's going to go over there. TV's going to be lifted, and uh, it's going to go over there. Or potentially over there next to Tweet Red's Catwoman. Not too sure. Still working out the kinks, but yes. You can display her without the cape. Um, it's basically the shoulder pads. You have to take the head off, take the shoulder pads off, unhook the cape, and then put the shoulder pads back on. But I'm not gonna, I, you know, although you do lose a lot of detail on this side if with the cape. It ain't a deal breaker for me. I think I prefer it with the cape. It's, it's, it adds that presence <clears throat> that you, you're looking at a nutter bastard statue. Uh, like I said, one of the best statues I've ever seen. You know, for granted, I ain't seen many, but I've seen them in pictures. I know what's out there. <clears throat> and this, out of all of them, this was my number one must have. I love it. Love it to bits. Literally. Love it to bits. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a pleasant day and see you soon. Toodles.